Let's have a look and see what's new on Amazon Prime from the 4th of October to the 11th of October. First up, we have Goldie Hawn's big claim to fame, Private Benjamin. If you haven't seen it, you probably should. Latest instalment to the Swedish action series Hamilton, which is much like James Bond, has arrived. I'm embarrassed to say I haven't seen any of this series, but I'm certainly going to start. Wolfgang Petersen's true story of a fishing boat that gets stuck in a little bit of a storm, featuring George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg appears. I was never a big fan of this movie, but it has its moments. Seasoned animation studio Pixar puts out Ratatouille. There's a hair-raising horror thriller with Johnny Depp, Sweeney Todd, the demonic barber of Fleet Street. Justice League The New Frontier is a fairly short feature film centering around the DC Universe circa 1950s. Valentine was a little horror movie from the early 2000s, just after Denise Richards had made Wild Things, Starship Troopers and Drop Dead Gorgeous. Completely unmemorable, and the reviews are somewhat middling. Hippocrates is a French medical comedy drama featuring a very realistic portrayal of foreign doctors in the French medical system. Chain of Fools is a rather forgotten comedy heist movie featuring Steve Zahn, Jeff Goldblum, Tom Wilkinson and the lovely Salma Hayek. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is an edge-of-the-seat thriller about a mole in the Secret Service and George Smiley is sent in to flush him out. Fool's Gold is a romantic adventure that people give a very hard time to. However, it's completely inoffensive, good fun and enjoyable for the entire family. Another Cinderella story is a straight-to-video musical romance with Selena Gomez. Or Selena go nowhere near it. It's kind of a funny story. It is a comedy about depression. Whilst I haven't seen it myself, some say that it is... Fairly good. Final Destination 5 is here. This was the most recent entry into the long-running series. I remember hearing it was quite good when it was released, although I never saw it, and that might be one of the reasons why they never made any more. Tide is a true story about a French banker and his sadomasochistic ways. Might have been made to coincide with the popularity of Fifty Shades. Peter Pan Returned to Neverland, one of those direct-to-video sequels to the classic 1953 Peter Pan. If you or your kids happen to like Scooby-Doo, then Amazon Prime have you covered with the Scooby-Doo 1 and 2 feature films alongside a new face to Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo Adventures Mystery Maps, sees the mystery mob being portrayed with hand puppets. I do believe I will be putting this on today for my three-year-old. The Hot Flashes looks like a tedious comedy about a group of middle-aged women who play basketball because, I don't know, someone said that they couldn't or something like that. Looks dreadful. There's something called Max Keeble's Big Movie. I don't know what this is. Maps to the Stars is a a film about some Hollywood celebrity families, directed by David Cronenberg and starring Julianne Moore, John Cusack, Olivia Williams. I've never heard of it before, but be sure I'll be watching it. Gagarin First in Space is a documentary about the first dangerous mission into the unknown, featuring some phenomenal special effects. 42 is the story of Jackie Robinson, baseball legend from 1945, featuring a pretty amazing performance from Harrison Ford. And my pick of the week is the documentary on the Brazilian Formula One race driver Ayrton Senna, cunningly titled Senna. A beautiful look at his life and achievements until it was shockingly cut short. Thanks very much for watching and remember to check out what's new on Netflix.